So to question two, geometric series, right? This is the first and the fourth terms. They're getting smaller, so the multiplying, the common multiplying ratio must be a proper fraction. You can also see these are powers of two, if you know them. That was a, a famous old one, because that's two to the power eight, when you used to have bytes and so on of eight bits. And that one is one that you sometimes remember, because two to the 10 is almost like the thousand. That was the, the 1024, 1024. Still, U1, is just what you would call A, the first term. So the first term, or the letter you use to signify the initial value, is 2048. U4, that's three steps further on. So it's three multiplications further on. That's AR cubed for 256, which means to isolate that R, we we'll just divide them. U4 divided by U1 will be AR cubed over A, which is just R cubed. And that's going to be 256 over 2048. Now you could just say 2 to the power 8 over 2 to the power 11 makes it 1 over 2 to the power 3, so r is 1 over 2. Or you could divide that out in your calculator. I'll give you the same answer. 25 switch it on. It was switched on. 256 divided by 2048 gives you 1 over 8. No surprise there. Which means r is going to be the cube root of that, which is a half, and it maintains the same sign, being an odd root. And that was the first bit, two marks, r is a half. a is 2048, r is a half. Now the second part said, given the sum of the first n terms is 4088, the sum of the first n terms, right, I need a formula for this, not left myself much room, I may have to work my way across, not a very good form, but not much space, is given by a times 1 minus r to the n, over 1 minus r, or the other way around if you will, reversing both subtractions will maintain the value of that, this is the better form though, if r is going to be a proper fraction, so we're taking away a smaller amount. And it says that was 4088, but no, I'll put this value in first. a was 2048 times 1 minus a half to the power n, well the 1 won't change, so 1 over 2 to the n over 1 minus a half was, and old fish time, what was it again, 4088. So now it's just a case to solve that equation. I'm going to have to do this in steps along the way, so I don't have to clear it all. Right, well, there's a half underneath, get rid of that. So I'll take that across and multiply. So I've got 2048 times 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n would be, take the half across and multiply, 2044. Take that across and divide. 1 minus, oh, I was going to do it over here. A, 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n will be 2044 over 2048. That's not very good doing this typewriter thing. Next thing, I'm going to take that over and read it the other way. I'm going to take the 1 over 2 to the n to the right, but read it backwards. So I've got 1 minus. I'm not simplifying this just now, because I'll do it in this next step. So 1 over 2 to the n would just be 4 over 2048, <coughs> which I could cancel down to. This is really bad form. 1 over 512, another famous one. Flip that over. That means that, I'll just do it here, 2 to the n is 512, and that's a power you should know, that's power 9. 2 to the 9 is that, so the answer is n equals 9. 2 to the 10 is the 1000, that's the half of that, so that's 10 to the power 9.